Hi everybody, welcome to this video as part of the Microsoft Copilot Studio in a Day Workshop. My name is Craig Kreskis. I'm a partner solution architect here at Microsoft. This video, the fourth, is all around applying Copilot from Microsoft Teams. So you will learn how to build your first Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams. Copilot Studio and Teams work together so that users can create Copilots inside of Teams but notice that they will appear in both the platforms of Teams and Copilot Studio. So the goal is just to familiarize you with both platforms where users can author and create Copilots. So in this video, just to give you a visual representation of where we're going to go, you're going to install Copilot and start to build Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams. While inside of Teams and in the authoring experience, we'll create a new topic. And then we'll switch to Copilot Studio just so you can see the work you did in Teams displays in Copilot Studio. So let's begin. I'm going to start by installing Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams. Open up your Teams application, teams.microsoft.com. And up at the top left, go ahead and hit search. And while the branding still has not been updated prior to Copilot Studio being launched, the predecessor was named Power Virtual Agent. So your search will be Power Virtual Agent. And then go ahead and select Add. And then you can see here the branding's been updated on this particular splash page. You'll hit Start Now. Now select a team for the bot. So again, you'll get some instructions in the lab. Select Continue. This will take just a few minutes to build that first chat for you. And you saw on the sign says you get you can close that out. So if you did close it out, you can go into Outlook or into your mail client. You'll notice that you'll have an update. Or inside a Teams, you notice here I've got highlighted there's a notification that says my copilot is ready. So there it is. It's ready to use. So let's go ahead and create a new copilot. And in this case here, I'm going to call this HR Support Copilot. So we're going to create a solution for employees to be able to interact uh, without having to dial the phone and contact a, a somebody inside of human resources just for some basic tasks like vacation policies. So go ahead and hit create and it'll take a moment for you to create and now you could see that your HR support copilot has been created. So we'll start now with building that out by creating a new topic. Opening it up here, I'll select on topics. And just like we saw in the native experience in Copilot Studio, you've got all of these out of the box topics. Let's go ahead and create a new topic and you're gonna select from blank and click on the details. Always good to first rename and uh, your Copilot. So for example, this is a employee time off and then we start by creating trigger phrases, right? Phrases or questions that will wake up or invoke the bot. So we'll go ahead and put in a couple you see here uh, on the screen, also on the labs that I put in some examples. I need time off. I need help with time off. How many days of paid vacation do I have? So you can do a, again, uh, you need to put in at least five short trigger phrases. Once you're done, you could hit the insert and now you've got those trigger phrases set up. So the first step in this flow of the conversation is there'll be a message. So anytime somebody says, I need time off, like one of these phrases, the bot will provide a message. In this case here, I typed in how I can help you with questions related to time off. Let's go ahead and insert a node. And here you see a couple of different selections. We'll get into a lot more of these as you get into the workshop. We'll go ahead and hit add a question. And the question is, what information are you looking for? And I'll go ahead and type in paid vacation. And I can create new options. So this is gonna to start to create a branch. So now I've got paid vacations and national holidays. And you wanna always edit the response based on what it is the users are providing us. So in this case here, under that var one, you'll edit it to time off type. 
and then go ahead and close that out. So now you can see as the trigger phrases are invoked, there were two options the user can select. One was paid vacation, which is over on the left side or on the right, national holidays. If the user selects paid vacation, you'll insert add a message, go ahead and type in uh, for that paid vacation time off. They should visit this particular website. For national holidays, I'll hit show a message, type in, and then we put in these are US-based national holidays. When I hit enter, you can see, or you can hit click anywhere on the, uh, the canvas. And then the last thing you'll wanna do on these conversations is end it. Now in this workshop, we're just gonna end the survey, but if, if somebody was working with a customer service or any type of software, we wanted to transfer this to an agent, we can certainly do that. So we'll do the same over for the messages here at End Conversation. Always save your bot, save your work. You'll get a green message letting you know that it has been saved. And then if I come back here to my co-pilot, you can see this was the HR support copilot that I created. Now, because I want to show you the, the difference in the platforms, navigate back to the copilot studio that you've been working in in some of the other labs or videos. So if I go Alt tab or just open that up, you can see here now I'm in copilot studio. And if I hope you can see the ones that I'm working in here, if I go ahead and select here is my HR support. So again, what I do inside of Teams will automatically be available for me inside of Copilot Studio. So in this video, it was really just to help you see the, the similarities between using Copilot Studio and building your bot inside of Microsoft Teams. I wanna say thank you so much for your time and attention. Hope this provided you the guidance uh, as part of the Microsoft Copilot Studio in a day. Thank you so much. My name is Craig, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video real soon.